How's it going guys, my name is Fred and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So today we're going to do something similar to last time. We're just going to be making one big thing here in a flat terrain world. So a couple of you guys requested that I make a crane, as in like a big, I'm assuming you mean like a big construction crane. So a thing that can sort of go up and down and then there's a thing that goes along and then it can spin and then it can pick things up. We've tried to make something which can pick things up before when I made the sort of claw grabber game. That didn't work so good, but we'll, we'll give it another go at trying to pick some things up. So, we're going to have a lot of just sort of building montages. I'll explain each bit like as I'm going, but yeah, hopefully this should be good. So first things first, we also need the central column thing. Most cranes normally have loads of concrete at the bottom just to weigh them down. So I'll make a concrete block, then we'll make some big metal bits just going upwards. Uh, I guess we want to make it relatively thick, otherwise it'll look weirdly skinny. And then I'll do it with a sort of like... I don't know what you'd call it, with like cross members, just to make it look cool. But it's obviously not as high as I want it to be yet, but I may have fallen off the top. So one thing that's still really annoying about Scrap Mechanic, I really wish they had ladders in the game because currently there's no way you can just climb vertically up things. There's no ladders. You have to make stairs and stairs are obviously like spiral staircases, whatever. Stairs take up a lot of space. They're not very compact. So we should probably make a way to get to the top of this crane. Probably some kind of lift thing in the middle. Uh, if we make it like you'll make one before and basically have it be jet powered and I don't know if these things here can act as like guide rails to guide some wheels up to the top hopefully uh, if not it's going to be significantly more difficult okay so I've made this little lift car thing uh, I've tried just hopefully these wheels will drive up the poles so I put a wheel on every corner so hopefully it can't like twist and fall down or anything stupid like that and then I put an engine on every corner too just for the sake of balance so basically it's like a really weird looking car but uh, as you can see all the wheels are set to drive up the poles I think that's the right way around anyway we shall see let's get in this when we press up that's the wrong way when we press this way drive please okay maybe if I turn the power up let's go with full power full power never hurt anyone there we go okay now ooh, ooh, get in this thing and draw oh, ooh. well what I said, hopefully it wouldn't twist and fall out. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen, and it still did it. I don't think these girders are quite like the full width of a block, so the wheels aren't exactly against them, I guess. Um, uh, give me a second, I'll figure it out. Okay, I've made this thing. I'm hoping this works. Basically, I don't think I showed it, but when I made the treehouse before, I was trying to make a lift up to the treehouse, and I tried this one idea where we had wheels which were on these sort of pivoting arms and then you press a button and the wheels slightly move out like that. The way I had it before was they were going the other way and they moved inwards and you would stand in the middle and once they touched you it fired you upwards. But what I was thinking is if I do that but the opposite way around, so if I press this, the wheel starts spinning. Oh, it's turned off. If I do this, the wheel starts spinning and then I press this button and the wheels slowly grip. Oh, oh no, oh that works just as badly as before. Oh, I just realized why it's not working. These wheels are going the wrong way round. Ah, okay, let's see. Maybe it might even work now. So we got these spinning. That's good. We get them attached. Oh, oh, no. Why, why, why? Why did you feel the need to do this? Stop. Just go flat. Please go flat. Wait, are those, going the, those are going the wrong, those are going the wrong way. This whole issue would have been avoided if I could just like read and if I looked which way the arrows are going. Okay, now they're all spinning. Let's just check this. They're all spinning the right direction. So they're going that way, or you see, if the pillar's here, they're going that way, and they'll go like up the pillar. Okay, they're all doing that, and they're doing that on that side, they're doing that on this side. Now, grip. Oh! 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 It's working. Yeah, as I said, I think me being loose on top, I don't think it likes that. I think it sort of shifts when I walk around. But anyway, that is a way we can get up uh, the crane. Nice! Okay, let's uh, maybe just... Oh, it stays in place. No, it very slowly slides down. Let's just let's just fall down to the oh crap. Let's just fall down to the bottom. That's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, we should actually no, I need to be at the top. Let's go to the top and we can continue building. Okay, this is basically the extent of how far I got before. I don't want to drive it out the top because it'll fall out and I'll just have to build the whole thing again. That would be annoying. Anyway, this is basically how far we go. Let's turn these both off at the exact same time. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. And now let's get out. Let's get onto one of these pillars and then it's that switch and it all falls down. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, it's going as long as it doesn't fall over sideways. I think we're all good. Okay, I've now built several more layers. Let's have a look uh, how... Oh, God. <laughs> Let's have a look what it looks like from the bottom. Does that look like a sensible height? Uh, it's quite tall. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I don't know if I should, like, do any sort of cross beams in this direction. I think I might leave it just because... If you look where the wheels are, the wheels stick the whole way out. So if we, we need to make something that the wheels wouldn't hit, so the, the beams we make would need to be sort of like... They'd need to be like this, basically, and now just look ugly. So I'm going to leave it. It's basically two giant towers. They'll be connected at the top. It'll be fine. So I realized one thing while I was building it. We need the whole thing to spin so the top bit can spin around. So I really should have made, like, the bottom platform spin. I haven't done that, and it's a bit too late to do that. I can't, like, pick the whole thing up and put a bearing under it. So... We'll just make, at the top of this, we'll flatten it off, we'll put a bearing, then we'll make another flat plate, and then those should be able to spin on top of each other like that. And then we just need to make a big arm coming out in whichever direction. And then, yeah, once we've done that, then we get onto the tricky bit of a crane, of, like, the, the claw thing, and possibly even, like, um, a bit which can go up and down. That's going to be tricky, though. Let's, let's start by making the spinning bit. Okay, up. At the top. Let's not go too high. Just high enough that we can get off. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. So we need to build basically just one big flat plate. I want it to be like a nice variety of colors. So I'll try and make it orange. This staircase landing isn't quite big enough. Hmm. All right. Let's just make it. Let's just make it yellow. Let's use the black and yellow blocks. So some of these literally just oh, like uh, don't fall off. The side, just like this. The whole way across. Then we want a bearing dead center. I made it 16 by 16, so there is no dead center. I'm an idiot. That was stupid. Oh, why did I make it an even number wide? Ah, oh, okay, fine. We'll just put it roughly in the middle. That's as in the middle as it's going to get, because you can't go in the middle when there's an even number of cubes. That is so annoying. Oh, it's fine. You basically, you won't be able to tell until we start to spin it. But for now, you won't even be able to tell, so it's fine. Okay, so now that we have this... We need to make, like, the big, long bit that extends outwards. I'm thinking if I make it out of these bits, because these will make... If I make, sort of, a box out of these, this will make a nice, sort of, cage shape. So I'll use these for the floor. I don't think you can fall through it. I think it's solid. If I can just get it on the side... Oh, is that in the right place? No, it's way off to one side. Fall down. Oh, fall down! Oh, is that center? I think that's in the center. Okay, that's good. Moment of truth. Can you fall through the holes in this thing? Ugh. Oh, that's creepy as hell. No, you can't. It's solid. Okay, now let's just line it with these. They're not the same length. Let's line it with two of these. Oh, that's the same length. That's nice. And then the reason for putting those there is so we can stick another one of these on top of that. Go in this way so that flat bit is sort of like pointing horizontal rather than vertical. And yeah, we should be able to just continue making a big long tube like that pointing forwards. And then we'll make the same thing. Going backwards, and yeah, that'll look like a crane. Oh, something bad just happened. Oh, something very bad just happened. I forgot to disengage that properly. Yeah, we're going to have to rebuild that in a minute. No, it's, it's not a problem. Ah, I just realized one thing now. How the hell do we get onto the top when we come up now? Because that, like, uh, the black and yellow thing is sort of blocking the way. Oh, God. I'm going to have to get to the top, make a sort of platform which is sticking out on the outside and then like jump out and then back onto it. Oh god, this is gonna be tricky. What I might try and do as well, I might actually try and make a system where once this thing gets to the top, there's like some automatic uh, holders which come in underneath it and hold it in place. Because this thing, when you turn the wheels off, does very, it very slowly slides back down the crane. That's why it sort of fell and twisted last time. Um, so yeah, I might make a thing which sort of holds it in place. So when we get to the top, it'll still be at the top once we finish doing things up here. Okay, so I've made the system at the top, which hopefully should hold the thing in place once we get up there. Basically, there's a sensor here. Once the, uh, once the lift gets to the right height, got down the camera, I think it's going to sense the back of the seat. So once it gets to the right height, then all these yellow and black things underneath should sort of swing around underneath the lift 
and hold it in place. It went too early. That's too early. This is not good. This is bad. Okay, it sort of it sort of worked correctly, but also it sensed too early. I need to move the sensor up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just go in place. Hold it. Okay, that's good. We can turn this all off. No, off, off. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, just for now. That's gonna hold it nicely, as as intended. That's good. Okay, it works, but it does sense too early. So I need to move the sensor up. But when I delete the sensor, these things are all gonna move. They move slowly, so we'll have like a tiny fraction of time in which to do this. Let's just move it up by one block. That should be fine. Ready? Actually, let's put the new sensor in. Yes. And now, connect this. No! Okay. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so that works pretty nicely. We now have a way to get up to the top, and also the lift stays here. And then when we want to go back down, we can get in it and just release it. Uh, I don't know if it will fall down straight or if it's going to flip, but it's fine. It's, just, it's not too hard to fix if it flips. Anyway. Let's now build some stairs from this level just up to the top. Continue making the actual arm. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. I think I see what's happened here. It's too heavy. <laughs> Basically, the thing's too heavy, and it's just torn the two plates apart, so just held together by one bearing. Um. Well. <laughs> I think. I think if we attach a controller to the bearing, it should hopefully fix it. If not... We basically have to delete everything that's at the top and start again. That's super annoying. Please work. Controller there. Attach this. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, there's only one thing for it, and I hate to do this, but we're going to detach. Oh. Oh! Well, that worked. I'm assuming... No, oh, they're stuck. Well, that's fantastic. I think they fell down now, didn't they? Yeah, they fell down. God damn it. I had made 11, 11 of these huge things going off in that direction, and I just, I, I've fallen off so many times already, it's so hard to place these, and now I just have to do it all again because I didn't balance it properly. Let's do one on one side, one on the other, and then obviously I'm not going to make both sides the same length, but I'll put a huge block of concrete on the short end to make it heavy. Oh well, I broke it again. Brilliant. Oh, I'm getting really, really tired of having to build this vertical column every single time I fall off. Please, Scrap Mechanic developers, if you are out there somewhere in the world in Sweden, I think is where they're from, please, please add ladders. No, it broke the lift as well. What are you doing? Get, get off. Oh, it's trapped me. It's completely entrapped me. Get off. Go back to normal. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, basically what I'm doing is I'm obviously placing these at this end. And then on the other end, every couple times I place one of these at uh, the other end, I'm placing a big old slab of concrete, which hopefully, hopefully acts as a counterbalance. I don't know how much technically one of these ways. I don't know how much technically one of these ways. I don't know if the game cares or if just randomly things break sometimes. But, but hopefully, hopefully that big block of concrete is going to balance out the long arm at this end. I'm just looking off the shadow how long this should be so it looks correct. Because if you look at the shadow, it's a lot taller than uh, than wide. So I want to make this thing longer. I think we need it to be at least 16 of these things long. It's currently nine long. No, 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 no! Oh, shit! Wait, that might be salvageable if I can get up there. It's twitching. It's twitching rather violently, but <laughs> it's in place for now. It's fixable. Just stay where you are. Stay where you are, Mr. Crane. I'm coming for you. Can I even get up there? Don't slide down. If I slide down, I've got a long way to go. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. This is definitely fine. This is all good. This is all fine. This is an okay situation. Okay. Uh, please. Oh, balance. Balance. Balance, please. Just keep adding tiny bits of concrete. Just until it goes back again. It's bound to happen. Eventually. Oh. Oh. It's it's tilting very slowly, but we want slow is good. Slow is exactly what we want. And now get in the middle so I don't get murdered. Oh. Oh. Don't go the other way. Do not go. Come on. You can do it. The little crane who could. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Okay, just looking at the crane down there, it's hard to know if it's ever going to look like perfect, but I think maybe if I add one more of these to the end of this, it'll be a decent-ish length. It'll look sort of normal. And then and then I'll turn this into like a 
a, a box rather than just a flat floor. And then we can work on getting the grabby, not like that, the grabby bit underneath. Think it's stable. I might add a little bit more just, just in case. Just because you never know. That's way more concrete than I was expecting to have on there. But you know, if it works, don't complain. So, we got this. Uh, we got our lovely counterbalance at this end. Yeah. Okay, let's now turn this 3D. Okay, so we got this. I'm not going to add a top layer to it just because it's so heavy already. And after after that little scare just then, uh, I think we're going to leave it at that. It already, it already looks like a crane. It's got a very strange shadow now. You can see this thing that I'm standing on is enormous, the counterweight. That's a lot bigger than I was expecting, but it works. It works. So we got all of this. I just realized it's not meant to be a thing here. So we can actually get in and out of it. Now, we should probably try adding a way to spin it. So I'm not entirely confident that it will spin at all. But I think the best way to do it is with an engine in the sea. We're going to use an electric engine. Because an electric engine has apparently more thrust but slower speed. But that's what we want for something which is absolutely enormous. Get an engine. Get a seat. I guess we should just stick them in here. I mean, why not? Let's put that there, and let's put the seat just on the other side somewhere. You can see it. Oh, my God. Now, connect this to this. Let's put it on the lowest possible... It is on the lowest possible speed. It sounds like it's off. Oh, no. It is on. It's on. Let's put it, yeah, on the lowest speed. <laughs> Get in here. That's not doing anything. Well, that's doing absolutely nothing. Okay, this is medium speed. Is it spinning? <laughs> I don't think it's spinning. Okay, full power. Nope. It's not gonna it's not gonna do it. I think basically this thing it, it's just it's too heavy. It's literally too heavy to be able to spin it. So it's gonna be a crane which can only pick things up which are roughly there. <laughs> it can't spin, but we can at least make it so it can lift things up and down. So let's maybe we're gonna have to like head down to the floor and then build another tower up underneath it and attach a thing to the bottom and then make a sort of grabber. Okay guys, so I think we might be done. You can see here, down the bottom, we've got this lovely little control panel. I thought it made more sense to put this thing down at the bottom than it would be to have it at the top, because like when you're loading stuff onto a crane, if you're like directly above it and looking down, it's hard to know if you've like got it in the right place and stuff. So I thought we put the control panel at the bottom, uh, which does mean that we had to connect this <laughs> up there if you're wondering but Vader how did you connect these all the way up there basically I had to make a giant staircase a very giant staircase and just climb up and down it every single time but it's okay it's all connected now so basically uh, we have a big series of the, like the sort of scissor things that I used to make the garage and I've used to make some of other stuff basically when you want something just to go like in a straight line you do that so if i press all of these buttons except for the last one you see it comes down nice and smooth surely why not and then it comes down to basically almost at the floor and you can see it's open at the moment if i press the very last button oh the claw closes okay so that all works pretty nicely. I guess the only thing to do now is to test whether the hell it can actually pick something up. So let's maybe open the claw. Um, and I guess the best thing to try and pick up would be one of the the boxes the game comes with. If you go down the bottom, there's all these boxes. You get like banana box or carrot box or fruit box. Actually, maybe let's try the brand new mattress. You know, if you're building a house and you have to get the mattress in like the second floor, you might have to like lift it up with the crane. It might be a really heavy mattress. It says lightweight, but ignore that. Anyway, let's get a mattress and also let's get a little block just so we can make the mattress off the floor and then uh, just like this and then delete the block. Ah, and that should be loose. Okay, let's see what happens when we close the claw on that thing. Please don't die. Please don't die. Uh, ooh. Oh god, that's bad. Okay, we just need to get the mattress a little bit more central. Actually, if we have it on top of a block so it's slightly off the ground, that might help it to pick it up. Okay, two blocks like that. Delete one of them so the mattress is loose, but it's slightly suspended off the ground. will make it easier to grab. Press the button. Get No, don't do that. Press the button. Grab the mattress. Grab the mattress. Grab the mattress. <gasps> oh. I think we made a crane. I think we made a crane, and now we can start pressing these. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go one at a time just to make sure. Oh my god! Wait, why is that going wonky? 
Oh, it's because the mattress is like... Oh, no. No, it's because I'm stupid. You'll notice that this whole section here is just rigidly attached to this pole here. There should be one more bearing at the end, but I, uh, I forgot. I forgot to put a bearing there, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Let's close them all up. See if we can lift the mattress the whole way up without any problems. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, if only the crane itself could spin, we could spin it around and move it to different places. It can't do that, but you know, whatever. Also, we can't move it along this way. It, it would just be so unbelievably difficult to get that to work that I'm not going to do it this episode because I've already been doing this for several hours. But anyway, that is a working crane. It's a very strange looking crane, but it looks like a crane and it works like a crane. As long as the thing you want, you only want it to go up and down. You don't want it to spin around or go back and forth. So as long as you only want to go up and down, it's a working crane. So anyway, that's really a good time to end this. This has been Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys enjoy this. As always, if you guys have any more suggestions of like one big thing we can build or lots of little things. I know lots of you guys wanted an amusement park. Uh, so the, me the next episode might be going back to the Ferris wheel world and building lots of more amusement park rides. But anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. But until next time, I'm Vader. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.